I'm actually there's a, there's a bit of confusion because I've gotten uh, from my great grandmother that I'm Egyptian, but there's a switch. I'm actually Syrian, so I'm Jamaican, Syrian. There's a hint of Indian, and then uh, like Italian. You know what you should do? I actually did um, ancestry. You know the DNA. You can, and then you just kind of spit in a little a vial thing. You send it back, and then you they break it down for you what you really, are. I thought, I, like last time I went on ancestry, it was like a family tree. I know what I am. I thought I, like. Last time I went on Ancestry, it was like a family tree. I tried to mess No, up don't do the family. Because, like, I mean, it, it's a lot bigger than it was before. And, I, I mean, I was going to plan to do something, but it ended up just... Do like, something like what? I was going to do, like, a challenge. I mean, for as far as everything, as far as the creativity of everything that I do, it all comes from me. Okay. But why the casket? That seems so morbid. But you're, yeah, but man, you're not. You're... I'm a lot, but I'm dead. <laughs> Maybe just be to, to, to my negligence or uh, karma catching up to me, but... Just due to the fact that I, obviously I must not have been enough. A lot of shit took place. So it was a it was a explosive relationship. Okay, and you where did you think of this name? I was in boot camp and I used to jack off a lot. <laughs> 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 I, bro, I'm talking about I was watching blue movie after blue movie and like, nigga, my grandma wouldn't let me use the bathroom no more. <laughs> so you were getting off in your grandma's house? In my grandma's bathroom. <laughs> so you come up with this name. I'm gonna call you X, but it's X X X. Tentacion. Tentacion. Are you, do you have, um, are you Latin or what, what's, no, are you no, Spanish? What's your background? I mean, they violate and people do processes. I, well, we know what that's about. We, we know what the system is not made yeah. for people to succeed. <laughs> you I, know what I'm saying? I just want to be one of the people to, to actually give power to that shit. Or just to like, let people, like, nobody going to feel it till they end up in that situation. Ain't not, he not going to feel it unless his brother or his mom end up in jail. And if you, if music is your calling, you'll see it. Because then people will naturally gravitate towards you. I mean, I'm trying to give back to everybody because when, when me and my mom ain't have it, you feel me? It was never, like, dead broke. Us. But yeah, where you, um, y'all would basically, like, go buy groceries and fill up somebody's fridge. Yeah, fill your fridge. I'm doing that. I'm going to do that same shit because, I, I mean, when I say y'all inspired me with that shit, like, I would have never thought about something like that. Oh, wow. So, so once a month, uh, once or twice a month, you feel what I'm saying? I'm going to pick at least, like, two to three people and take them to fill up their fridge. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to give back, bro. I'm not, I'm not selfish. That's good. Good for you. Um, X, a.k.a. Dagger Dick. Dagger dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like, I like, I like her. I like <laughs> well, let's talk, since we talked about how you got your, the X name, talk to me about Dagger Dick then. I'll give you that platform. Uh, all right. So X, 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 Tentacion means unknown temptation. Um, as far as the, the X, the significance of the X, for some time, the X was the only unknown numeral to me. So it was, uh, it it played as like, it's like being John, like like John Doe. You get what I'm saying? John Doe stands for unknown. So okay, X is the variable, X like the wild card. and unknown. So temptation is, uh, I mean, tentacion is temptation in Latin. So I actually just pushed the two together in unknown temptation because I feel as if that's what my life revolves around. I got an album out coming out called 17, a mixtape called I Need Jesus, the mixtape, and then one more called uh, Revenge. I'll charge them like two hundred dollars. You feel me? Two hundred, and you blow up. You get like twelve thousand within a day. You know what I'm saying? Twelve thousand, mm -hmm. thirteen thousand. So I'm doing that for people to give, to take the power away from the industry and give it to the the individual. You're not gonna feel it unless your daughter or somebody end up in jail. Nobody gonna feel it till they end up. But but, but I mean, like, it's sick. It's sick. They don't feed you real meat. They're not giving you the right nutrition. They put in chlorine mm. in, in the in the showers. Is they got bleach soaps? Like, bro, the shit is sick. Like, bro, there's. There's a shit called, they, they call it Jim Jones. You pour it, in, in, they drink it, you drink it like every day. What is that? It's, a, it's like a juice. It's like a, like a, I guess a fake juice. Like they put the powder in the, in the water and you drink, it's called Jim Jones. If you pour this shit on the paint, it melts the paint. And they're making us drink this shit. If you pour it on, I, I kid you not, I'm not talking about, you pour this shit on the paint, it eats away at the paint. Well, I heard that they were giving um, soldiers something like that to suppress their sex, their sexual appetite. Yo, that's funny because I was going to say that, but I was just trying to dive into it. That's what they said, but it was a rumor. They're like, "Oh, if you drink Jim Jones, your dick can't stand up." You feel me? But I wasn't trying to. They talk giving y'all Jim Jones, yo. I wasn't drinking that shit. I'm waterfied. I'm. <laughs> you feel me? Because I've heard from some people that it's a little distorted. Why? It's raw, and if it don't sound like anybody else, then it sound like me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to sound like, 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 bro, like. Let's let's keep it blood raw. Like the niggas at the top of the industry right now, everybody's trying to sound like them. Everybody, literally, every single person that that jumps into music, they're like, "All right, how can I sound like this? This is the sound I want." You know what I'm saying? I came out literally trying to to change that. 
I know what that felt. I know what that felt like, and I know what it felt like being on the verge of wanting to end it all, but being too pussy to do it. I was I was too pussy to to, to end my life, so mm. I knew that feeling, and I wanted to come for anybody because I found a way out through the music. And no, I, I think to... that is brave to stand up and live your life. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's. It's a double. It's a double jeopardy. It, it, it's a double edged sword. I mean, I get it, but I think that it's brave when you choose when you, when not you choose, to. Yeah, that when you choose, that, to, when you choose life. Yeah. You, pain, pain, pain is everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, it made everything ten times harder for me. And my ex knew that, and she fucked me over on purpose. Like I always told her, like, yo, I, I can't get into no shit. You know what I'm saying? Or else I, I might be going back for life. Cause I have PBL charges. PBO. PBL means punishable by life. Okay. Therefore, like, if you violate on a uh, on a PBO probation. They can give you whatever the fuck they want to if you're found guilty on that violation. So if I if I so so much as simply drive down the street with a suspended license, or if they really want to fuck me over, like get a speeding ticket, you get what I'm saying? They could violate me and I'll be going to like prison for a very very long time. There's, wow, it's seven years minimum. They have to give me seven years out the gate. Wow. So now, where do you guys stand? Like, I still think Drake a fuck nigga. As oh, a, as a, as a man, no, I'm keeping a blood raw. I, I still think Drake a fuck nigga. Like, I think he, he's. He's not a man. I think he's a, a bitch. That's a bitch move, especially when I was in jail facing facing life. But you get what I'm saying. If Drake would have came to my my barn here, you know what I'm saying, that would have made my fucking day. If he if he would have showed that he he's a hospitable person and that he's really in this shit for the culture, rather than being a fuck nigga taking my shit, running off with it, and then putting it on his album, then he would have got my kudos. He would have got my respect. I would I would have let him hop on the remix, take a hundred percent royalty rate. I would have done it. You know what I'm saying that I would have appreciated him for being a real nigga. So. Anything now, like moving forward, it happened. You can't take it back. Oh. Well, I think we've covered covered a lot of bases, and you just got to stay out of trouble, stay focused. We rooting for you. There's a lot of these, you know, kids that are getting these opportunities and getting locked up, and it's like a waste, and it's really sad. So I want to see you make it. You know, I want to see you live those dreams, whatever you have in your mind. Go for it. Give back. Be the super villain, the hero, everything you want to be. Just stay out of jail, please. All right, I don't want to sound preachy, but no, it's I mean, real. I, I'm talking about every time it's said to me, it, like it, I, you're saying what I need to hear. You feel me? You I mean, look, Kodak Black, um, bro, that's, that's you know what I'm saying, so Shmurda, you know what I'm saying, Bobby Shmurda, he took seven for his dog. Like, yo, it's 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 it was happening consecutive. It's crazy. Yeah. Ross on house arrest, ankle, like it's just like, yo, come on. If I say if I say, bro, punch me, but he he punched me in my shit with no evidence. It don't matter. I go to the police. I say he punched me in my shit. They coming to get him. Mm-hmm. Even like, all right. Let's st- like realistically, as the parents that send their their kids to school, they don't even know what their children are studying. Mm. Like for one, about the fact that they say that Christopher Columbus discovered America. Mm-hmm. The Native Americans were already here. That's clear as day. If you really do, but you, they can't you, still be teaching kids that now. They still are. No, it's, it's not altered. No, they have not altered. Like that it. can't be happening. I, I hope they've altered it because no. it was not altered at my like, when I was in school. That's what they were saying to us. Wow, like, Christopher Columbus discovered America. Like. I mean, as far as as far as the the information they solicit, mm-hmm. it's 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 all. And they give us, they feed us bits and pieces. I mean, I could talk about that shit all day. That's yeah. the type of shit I like to talk about. So you, you know, were just kind of over it. I was, like, I, I, just, I felt like it was stupid. Mm-hmm.